Do you love bold colors that pop off your quilt in a modern way? Well, you're gonna love my brand new book. Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and I am thrilled today to bring you my brand new book, Make It Modern. Now, this is three yard quilts still, Make It Modern with three yard quilts. We have eight brand new patterns. They're all shown on the book. And as always, we have the same beautiful diagrams, photographs, and instructions to enlarge it to the twin and the king queen size. Absolutely fun. And you know, modern is kind of dear to my heart. I love modern design. I love all of those really strong graphic elements with all of the color. It just really sings to me where that came from i don't know but i think it's because i love color and i love the contrast and showing it off so let me share some of my great modern quilts with you that are in this new book the first one is crystalline now believe it or not this is the easiest pattern in the world we're going to put this on the table and crop it out for you so that you can see but i love the way that all the red the red the blue and the silver just contrast and it creates kind of a relief in a way of a star so it's very cool let's put it on the table check out that block and the fabric so crystalline as i mentioned before is a one block quilt so i'm going to grab the cropping tool here and it's just the coolest thing ever okay let me do this down here let me find the block because even i sometimes get lost with it and here's one and here's one so here's our block. Now what's really cool is you're making three units. This unit here is a square, a half square triangle and a square. The second unit is a rectangle and a half square triangle. And the third unit is a square and a rectangle. You put those together, you rotate them, and you get this great kind of spinning star look, which is fabulous. It's just so much fun and so, so easy to do. Now, I also want to just kind of give a shout out to our stitcher that helped us out here. Tina is one of the wonderful ladies that helps us put our quilts together, and we just absolutely appreciate her and the amazing quality that she does for us. So let's talk about this fabric. The number one fabric is this awesome red. This red has so much depth to it, and I just love it. But what's really cool is it gives you so much dimension on your surface of your quilt here. So we have our squares in our units and on our binding and our border. Then our number two is this great silver. Now this has that iridescence to it that I just love that brings so much light to the quilt. That is in the half square triangles and the squares here that create our star as well as the alternate blocks on our units here. And then the blue is kind of like a pickup from the red here. And once again, that amazing dimension that this fabric has is just awesome. You can see how it just gives so much depth to the quilt. And we've got it here in our unit here, in our half square triangles, and on our border. Just so much fun. Crystalline was a fun one to put together. So other than the stars on there, I also thought that it kind of looked like the way a crystal refracts which I thought was so cool. I know I have a couple of these really pretty crystals in my home and this really, in, that inspired me to do something like this. So I just love it. All right, let's read the kit information on this. The name is Chrome Majesty. The number is 8023108. Once again, the pattern is crystalline from the brand new book, Make It Modern with Three Yard Quilts. And our, our alternative pattern is Chain Reaction. Our next pattern is Curio. Now this one's fun and I love it because we were able to get this bold fabric here. And I love the way that the sashing really highlighted this fun fabric. And it kind of looks like grandmother's china cabinet. So it's a little modern and a little nostalgic all thrown into one. So let's put it on the table, check out that pattern in the kit. The fun, fun fabric and all of these circles. Talk about color, is this not the best color in the world? And all of these great pinks and yellows and oranges and blues and purples, it's just so much fun. And it is here and what's really cool is this is kind of a snowball effect. Now, this is neat because these are very, very easy to put together. Whenever you start working on the pattern, you're gonna see that it steps out very simply how to do the snowballs. 
They're so fast. And then all we have here is a great sashing that is pieced, it's just strip pieced and put together. Super, super easy. Now, as we saw here earlier, here's our fabric number one and all of the focus positions here. And then we have a nice kind of a beigey white fabric in the background. Actually, I think this color is called marshmallow. I thought that was the coolest name for this fabric because it does, it looks just like marshmallows. Anyway, it goes on the border and on our corners here of our snowball. And then our number three fabric is this not the most gorgeous blue? Kind of matches me, doesn't it? So this blue is so pretty. I love it for the borders here. And I just really think it helps frame our focus fabric beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Now, if we look also, I just want to show you this. Look at the backing on this. I thought this was so fun. It, it kind of, it doesn't really have exactly the same aesthetic, but it has all of the same colors with that little geometric. And I just thought it turned out great. I think it's so, so pretty. Now, the other thing is, is this is quilted in such a way that the quilting mimics the fabric, which I really think is cool. I want to kind of thank Lucinda. She is our long arm quilter. She always does such an amazing job on these quilts. So I'm so, so very grateful her, for her. Thank you so much, Lucinda. Okay, the kit information on this, the number is 8023109. It is called Modern Art. The name of the pattern is Curio from our Make It Modern book. And our alternate pattern is Gallery. So our next quilt is Fandango. And I named this Fandango because that is a fun dance that you twirl and spin and I just love it. And I thought that these stars here looked like they were moving around. So that's the reason why it has his name, Fandango. Now it's got a great little block here that's bordered with our number three fabric. And then it's kind of made like a snowball, but we've only done two corners there. And that is what gives us this star effect. So let's put this on the table and check out these fabrics. Now, I love the way that these fabrics bounce off of each other. And I know that sounds funny, but they're like opposite ends of the color wheel, the green and the pink. And I really love that because it's given you that really bold effect with the pink bordering the square. So our number one fabric is this green, which is kind of a stylized um, floral here, which I really like. I think it also kind of has that flavor of Fandango, like the, the pattern does. So I think that was another reason why I named it after that, because I loved this fabric for that. So it's going here and then on our corners here of our alternate block. And then we have this white with this little green hash mark. And this is pretty cool because it goes in our alternate blocks here. Now, please notice it's a little bit of a directional fabric and it works perfectly in this, the way that this block is made. So you can see here how well it works and it really picks up all the greens in our focus. Then our number three fabric is this great pink. Now, if you were wearing a pair of boots when you were doing the Fandango, this is what they'd be made out of because it looks a little bit like lizard skin or crocodile skin or something like that, but it's in pink, which is great. So it borders our blocks here and makes a gorgeous quilt. Okay, now these fabrics are a lot of fun. And before I give you the kit information, I just wanna mention on Thursday, our very next video, we are gonna be showing all of these quilts again and we're gonna make it in different ways. So instead of making it modern, we're gonna make it in all different ways. So be sure and join us for that so that you can see these quilts again, but see how versatile they are and how fun they are and make it in different ways. Okay, the kit information on the Fandango, the number is 8023110. The kit name is Floral Twirl. The name of the pattern is Fandango from the Make It Modern book. And our alternate is Puzzle Me This. Okay, our next quilt here is Interlock. Now, I have to say this one's probably my favorite, maybe my favorite. It's really, really hard to choose, but I thought this went together really well and it looks really hard, but it's really simple. All right, so interlock here, are these colors not just gorgeous? Just love them. I love the way that the greens and the focus fabrics and the number three fabric come together and create so much depth. 
I just think it's amazing. So our focus fabric is this great blue and green, and it has kind of, I don't know, these medallions on here that are just so gorgeous. It's kind of a, I don't know if I'd say a watercolor look or whatever, but it's all these different elements that just blend together beautifully and give us this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And this is in the block background here. And I like this because it's a big print, but it kind of, it gets cut up a little bit and it looks like it's in the background, so it shines through, which I thought was super cool. So if you had like a floral for this or something, I think it would be gorgeous to put it back there like it's coming through, like you're looking through the lattice work at the flower garden. Okay, number two, I digress, is this gorgeous green, and you can see it's very bright and bold. It is gonna go in a lot of our blocks here and on our borders. Very, very pretty. And of course it picks up all of the lime greens in our focus fabric. Lots of contrast, lots of fun. Then we get our blue. And this blue kinda looks like water, I think. And you can see how gorgeous it is with our focus fabric. This is bordering our blocks here. And we have our center here. We also have a little bit of it on the border and it looks just amazing. Perfect contrast with our fabric number two. Now on this one, our fabric number three really needs to be bold and contrasty so that you see this pattern here. And I think it works beautifully with this kit. Now I wanna remind all of you out there, if you get three kits from us today, you can bypass the small patterns and get the brand new book, Make It Modern with Three Yard Quilts for free. So instead of getting the small pattern free with each kit that you buy, bypass those and get the new book. So many great patterns in this book. Our information on this kit, 8023111. It is called Meadow Magic. Pattern is Interlock from the Make It Modern book and our alternate pattern that we are suggesting is Park Place. Our next pattern is Pirouette. Now Pirouette is a really cool, kind of a stylized flower, which I think is very neat. Now a little shout out to Jessica, my assistant. She is the one who came up with the name Pirouette because she said it looks like these were twirling around the center, which I thought was brilliant. So this is Pirouette and there are Pirouette flowers. So let's put it up on the table and check this out. Now Pirouette is a super fun pattern too. And uh, Mary Ellen actually helped us make this pattern. And Mary Ellen, thank you so very much. You do a beautiful job. And you always give us so many great tips and hints on how to uh, structure our patterns and put them together beautifully. Can't do it without you. Thank you so much. And she did do a gorgeous job on this, matching all of our points and just so nice and crisp and very fun quilting. Thanks, Lucinda. Love this quilting on this one. Okay, so what we've done here, high contrast again, because you know, it's what I'm all about, those big bold colors and bright colors. We've got a wonderful pink here. Pink is in our flower here, as you can see. And then we have our number two. Now the number two is kind of cool. It's kind of a tone on tone print, but there is so much movement in it. And that is one of the things that I like. I do like solids, but I think that finding a tone-on-tone -tone print like this one for a background really adds so much to your quilt, and definitely on this one. So this is all of our background pieces, and then we have our black. Now this black is fun too. It kind of has a very, very subtle circular print to it, and I think it looks great in our alternate flowers here as our number three. Just a fun, fun quilt. Now. Don't forget that Thursday video because we're doing this quilt in some other colors that you're gonna love. So you don't wanna miss that, okay? It is awesome. So our kit information on a Pirouette is 8023112. It is called Modern Mystique. The pattern is Pirouette from the Make It Modern book and the alternate pattern is It's a Breeze. Our next pattern is Saltillo. Now this is, you know, I said I like them all. I do, I love them all. They're all my babies, love them. Love this one, I love the coloring in this one. And you're probably saying, well, Fran, I thought you loved bold, bright colors. Well, this one's bold, isn't it? Maybe not bright, but it is so gorgeous with the way that this comes together and these lovely leaves in the middle. And Saltillo, I named it after Tile, which made me, this quilt made me think of that. So that's how I got its name. So let's put it on the table, check out the fabric. 
Okay, I have grabbed the cropping tool for this one again because I want to show you how this is made. It is so simple and easy to do. I think you will be surprised. So we have two blocks and we're going to start with our first block here. All right, I need to make sure I find it. It starts, I tell you what, I'm going to move down here so I can get it easier. And then here. So what this is, is a very simple strip piece. We've got three strips of fabric that we've just cut off and that's it. So that's the middle of our saltillo tile. Then we do an alternate block and we come up here and you can see what we've done here is a half square triangle, a rectangle and a half square triangle. We've got four half square triangles here and then half square triangle, rectangle, half square triangle. And it works perfectly and it gives us the little points on our tile, which is really fun. So the pattern goes together very easily, very simply. All right, now let's look at this gorgeous fabric. I love these leaves. Beautiful soft colors, lots of different colors. We have greens, pinks, blues, creams, very, very gorgeous. And of course you can see it is showcased in the middle here both our half square triangles and our strip piece, just beautiful. Now we have our number two that kind of has like a linen look or something. So it's very soft, um, very kind of warm and yummy that picks up the colors in the leaves beautifully. And then our number three, which is also kind of like a linen-y texture, a little bit chunkier, and it will border. You can see here in the half square triangles and on our strip assembly. I thought this color really contrasted well and really helped to showcase our number one. So absolutely love it. I just think this one is gorgeous. So easy to put together, so fast and striking. Now don't forget all of the fabrics that you see today, of course we have the kits available, but we also have the fabric by the yard. So if you're wanting to get just a little extra to make a wider border or maybe some companion pillows or something like that, that fabric by the yard is there for you. So be sure and check out our website. Kit information on this one. It is called Serene Leaves 8023113. It is the Saltillo pattern from the Make It Modern book. And the alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Sugar Pie. Our next pattern is Square Up. And this one is fun and easy to do. Fast, fast, fast. Now a little secret on this one that makes it look a lot more complicated than it is is we have used an ombre fabric. And I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. But I think it gives so much more interest and depth in the pattern. When you're using a three yard quilt and you have three fabrics, an ombre can really help it look more complicated, which I love. So we've got a fun block here. It's just alternated in different colorways, a fun little four patch bordered with a couple of fabrics. Let's put it on the table, check it out. Now I have to say that I think that the piecing on this one is absolutely gorgeous. Once again, our fabulous stitcher, Ula, helped us with this one, and I want to thank you, Ula. It looks fantastic, and Lucinda quilted it with this really cool geometric, and I think it's great. Okay, so our fabric one is this cool kind of yellow and green ombre. Now, I'm going to open this up a little bit more so that you can see it, because it is really a neat fabric. So you can see how it goes kind of yellow in the center at the fold, and then a little bit more green on the edges. And it has all this confetti, and the confetti's a little iridescent, so it really shines, and I like that. It kind of looks like a party on a piece of fabric, a little bit there. But it's this ombre, when you're doing your strips, I'm gonna fold this back up so that I can show you that, that give us all of this like depth. So like all of this border right here is from a strip of fabric and you can see how it's got little touches of yellow and the green and all the confetti and I just think it's great. So the green is border some blocks in the center of some and on the inside border like this one. Then we have our fabric number two, also an ombre, a little bit more subtle. It kind of goes into the little bit of a beige confetti on this one and then a little bit more solid in the center. Once again, it's got that great iridescence to it and in all three blocks, the centers for the four patch here, borders here, and on the middle border here. 
So it looks lots of fun. This is a good example because you can see how it's like wider here and then it gets into the confetti. It's kind of fun. All right, our number three is this gorgeous blue. And it too has the iridescent confetti. It is the same way in each block. It will be in the middle of some and then the outer border and on an inner border. And you can see how it goes to a little bit darker here and then it gets a little bit lighter in the centers, which is just really great. Now this pattern has tons of contrast and honestly, these are my favorite colors, the blues and the greens. If you, I don't know if you watch Fabric Cafe, you know I'm always going crazy with blues and greens. So this I love, it is so much fun, super easy quilt to do. So this kit is called a Snippets. The number is 8023114. The name of the pattern is Square Up. It is from the Make It Modern book, and we are suggesting illusions as the alternate pattern. Now this quilt is a great cap. Now this is number eight. Now haven't you had fun? I've had a blast. Thank you for watching and letting me share all these. And this is a great one to end on because it is called Tranquility. And I named it Tranquility because I felt like it was kind of like a waterfall feature going down the front of the quilt. And here we have these nice florals just falling down the front. It's just perfect. Let's check out the block and the fabric. These colors are very, very soothing for me. I really like them. I think this yellow, it's not a really super bright yellow. It's a nice warm gold yellow, which is just gorgeous. Has lots of the blues and greens in it. As you can see here on the fabric, the leaves are blue, green, yellow, all the different colors, flowers, that wonderful gold. And it is in the center here. Now. Real quick, before I get too much further into the fabric, I want to show you the block because this is another one of those quilts that is a one block quilt. So I am going to, let me, I've got to find it because you, you know, sometimes these are tricky. They're kind of hard to see whenever you put them all together, which is what we want, right? <laughs> so here we go. So here is, where's my seam? There's that. And there's my seam right there. So this is the block here. Now what we've done is we have a strip piece here. I guess I need a little bit of that. So you've got five fabrics for a strip piece. You cut a unit. And then we have another unit here. You can see how we've strip pieced that and then just cut off a little unit. And another strip piece here. So it's very simple. You basically are doing three strip pieces and strip assemblies, and then we cut them into those units and sew them together. And then once you do that, all you're doing is rotating your blocks. So it's perfect and it's very, very simple and very, very fast to do in this case. This quilt would be fantastically fast. So we can see here that the gold floral, gorgeous on our waterfall, nothing better than a waterfall of flowers. And then our number two, it kind of looks like parchment or something. It's a nice warm background with a lot of texture on the backgrounds here. And then our number three, it's a beautiful blue, which picks up all the blues and the florals that will be the borders here in the block. So it really picks it up well. It's really gorgeous. Love it so much. Okay, now one of the things here I wanna do is show you the back of this quilt. We picked up this great kind of gold color, this rich gold that picks up all of the golds in the florals and the focus fabric. And I just think it worked so well. Absolutely gorgeous. And very fun quilting as well. So Lucinda outdid herself on this book. I think it's just fabulous. Now let's look at the information on this kit. It is called Floral Waterfall. The number is 8023115. The name of the pattern is Tranquility from the Make It Modern book. And our alternate pattern is Lickety Split. What was your favorite pattern in the brand new book, Make It Modern with Three Yard Quilts? Lots of good ones to choose from. Now, don't forget that the book is available right now at fabriccafe.com. So be sure to hop over there and check out all the great kits and get the book. It's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. Thanks so much for joining me.